A druid witch was attacked and stabbed by his neighbors after they had enough of his noisy pagan rituals. Yeah, they just had about enough of these druid rituals. You guys know how it is when you live next to druids. <laughs> That's like a thing, right? I got neighbors here. They're a bunch of college kids, and they play drinking games all night, but they don't dance around fires naked worshipping a goat or anything like that. So I can't imagine what it must be like living next to druids. <laughs> Probably pretty annoying. But then again, you should be able to practice your religion, right, if you want to. Just keep it like before 10 p.m. if you're going to be chanting and sacrificing virgins. That's just my opinion. <laughs> Let's get into the story. This is from the UK, obviously, because that's the only place where druids are still going to be. A druid witch was attacked and stabbed by his neighbors after they had enough of his noisy pagan rituals. Well, you know, if you're stabbing him, I mean, we gotta, we gotta, you gotta draw the line somewhere, okay? Calling the cops, fine. You don't stab your druid neighbor. By the way, who wants to get violent with druids anyways? Can't they cast spells on you and shit? I mean, I'm not into that. They got black magic going on, all right? You don't want to piss them off. But then again... You gotta keep a lid on it, druids, if you're out there partying all night and dancing uh, during the full moon. So, you know, let's find a middle ground here. Mark and Anne Denyer went after John Bennett as he conducted his latest back garden ceremony that involved chanting and rhythmic beating of drums, something that he does during every full moon. Okay, well, that's not so bad. It's once a month. I mean, my neighbors party once a week. <laughs> oh, man. Mr. Denyer exchanged insults over the fence with Mr. Bennett, who goes by the pagan name of Bearheart. Wow, Bearheart? That's pretty cool. Do I get to have a name like that if I become a druid? I don't know. I think I might want to. What would my name be? My name would be Wolfballs. Yes, my druid name is Wolfballs. You will bow to Wolfballs. Worship Wolfballs. <laughs> I don't know. If you guys can think of a better druid name for me, please call me and tell me. <laughs> That's pretty... It's funny that they give themselves a name. Oh my god, it's like they're real life playing like real-life Dungeons & Dragons, aren't they? Hey, man, this, not, this isn't much different than uh, Christianity, you know? It, uh, yeah, 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 sure. Uh, a guy walked on water and a bush was burning and it spoke. Uh, let's be real here. <laughs> Angels and, a, and a, <clears throat> a virgin that got knocked up. I mean, come on. No, it's all fantasy at the end of the day. So anyways, the husband and wife stormed around to his bungalow and they wanted to have it out. Mrs. Denier armed herself with an umbrella, which she used to hit the druid over the head, while her 56-year-old husband had grabbed a carving knife from the kitchen and made a jab towards his victim. <laughs> My goodness. Thankfully, although piercing him, the blade didn't penetrate his abdomen very deeply. He suffered superficial wounds. But, I mean, still, isn't this attempted murder on some level? A court heard that Deniers had never been in trouble with the police before the incident. Uh, Mr. Denier, a lorry driver, what's a lorry? Is that like a taxi cab in England? And his wife denied charges of unlawful wounding, but were found guilty of following a trial at Bournemouth Crown Court. Oh, were found guilty following a trial. Uh, yeah, so they were, I mean, good, you gotta be, look it, you can't go stabbing your neighbors for partying and, and worshipping um, goat-headed creatures. Uh, you just can't do that. I don't know if that's what druids worship. In my mind, they worship something like that. But if you're, if, by the way, if you're a druid out there listening to Weird AF News, please call me and, uh, you know, bring to light what exactly it is that you worship and what your ceremonies are all about. You should have a platform to express yourself in Weird AF News. I mean, what a better place than that. Call in. The number is 646-450-2012. And, you know, give us a, a little clue about what goes on. And how late at night do you go? And do you have orgies by the moonlight? Is that what's... So noisy over there? I want to know. Do you have orgies while listening to the Bee Gees? That's what I imagine goes on. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> but I'm weird. I'm weird. And so are you, thankfully.